Okay, let's uh, continue. Uh, let's talk now about the electrocardiogram or the ECG. So, ECG is a series of waves and deflection recording of the heart's electrical activity of a certain view. Take note of this, of a certain view. So, it says there, of a certain view. So, ECG is a series of waves and deflection recording the heart's electrical activity, not only electrical activity, but from a certain view. Okay? Many views, it's called a lead. So, the view is called the lead. Okay? Monitor voltage changes between electrodes placed in different position in the body. So, first we have the leads 1, 2, 3. Okay? So, leads 1, 2, 3 are bipolar leads which consist of two electrodes of opposite polarity, positive and negative. So, remember, leads 1, 2, and 3 are bipolar because they have positive and negative polarity. The third uh, ground electrode minimizes electrical activity from the other source. Okay? Okay? So, leads AVR, AVL, and AVF are unipolar leads and consist of a single positive electrode and a reference point with zero electrical potential that lies at the center of the heart's electrical field. Okay, remember this one. Huh? Uh, AVR, AVL, and AVF, they are unipolar leads, meaning there is only one polarity. Okay, and they have this reference point with zero, zero electrical potential that lies at the center of the heart's electrical field. Remember, uh, ABL, ABR, ABF, unipolar, they have reference point at the center of the heart's electrical fields. And then we have the leads V1 to 6. They are also unipolar leads and consist of a single positive electrode with a negative reference point found at the electrical center of the heart. Okay, so they, they have the same reference point and it's negative. Okay, voltage changes are amplified and visually displayed on an oscilloscope, oscilloscope and a graph paper. Okay. So, an ECG tracing looks different in its lead because of the recorded angle of the electrical activity changes on its lead. So, the looks of its ECG tracing is different because of the angle. Remember, the angle of electrical activity on its lead. So, Several different angles allow a more accurate perspective than a single one would. So the ECG machine can be adjusted to make any skin electrode pass positive or negative. The polarity depends on which lead the machine is recording. Okay? The cable attached to the patient is divided into several different color wires. Remember, there is a color, color wire wires 3, 4, or 5 for monitoring purposes and then or 10 for 12 leads ECG. In our demonstration, what we are going to demonstrate is the 12 leads ECG. So, how many leads do we have? We have 10. Okay, 10. So, why well, it's called 12 leads and then we have only 10 wires. Okay. Again, it's not on the wires, but it's on the angles. Okay? It's on the angles that we are monitoring, the angles of the heart that we are monitoring. It's not the number of the wires that we are using. So, in 12 leads ECG, we are using 10. 
10 watts. Okay. Incorrect placement of the electrodes may turn a normal ECG tracing into abnormal one. That's why it's very important for us to remember the placement of the of the electrodes. Okay. Uh, clinical tip, patients should be treated according to their symptoms, not merely their ECG. To obtain a 12 leads ECG, four wires are attached to each limb and six wires are attached at different location on the chest. So we have wires on the limbs, the right arm, left arm, right leg, and left leg. And then the six wires attached on the different location of your chest. So the total 10 wires provides 12 views. That's why 12 views, 12 leads. Some, sometimes they ask you why it's called 12 leads. Sir, the answer is sir, because we are monitoring 12 views of the electrical conduction of the heart. Okay, it's not because you have 10 wires. Now, later on, they will be counting the wires. Oh, we have only 10 wires. But why is it called 12 leads? So the answer is we are determining the electrical conductivity of the heart in 12 views. That's why it's called 12 leads. Okay. Okay, so the limp leads. Okay, so the limp leads. The limp leads are monitoring six views. You can see here, six leads are views. Okay, so there are six leads, meaning there are six views. Okay, so what are these limp leads that can be viewed? Remember, uh, electrodes are placed on the right arm left arm, right leg, and left leg. So, right arm, and right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. Okay. We have only four wires that we will connect, but we have six views or six leads that we can view. Okay, so what are these? These are divided into two classification. So, what are these leads? Okay, we have the standard leads, 1, 2, 3, and we have the augmented leads, A, B, R, A, V, L, and A, V, F. 